Hello guys and welcome to TechWolf and what a fool I am. This title is not clickbait guys, I'm really a fool about iPad we were reviewing in my previous video. This is the iPad which I was reviewing and as you remember guys I was showing you the iPad which you can see right now on the screen and this is not the same iPad Pro. Please join me in inviting President Barack Obama and Kehinde Wiley to unveil the portrait. I was suggested by my friends that I just have to buy an iPad Pro guys and I did and after the previous video guys where I am giving away iPad Pro and if you haven't subscribed and you want to get an iPad Pro you can still go to leave a comment under my previous video and you will be also in for a draw and I will make a draw when that video will get 250 unique comments. Now there is about 100 comments already. but. Today let's talk what's the difference between this iPad which I was reviewing or which I got myself and which I was reviewing on the screen in my previous video. So guys, iPad Pro, if you are looking for iPad Pro you have to be very careful. If you are buying an iPad Pro there are actually two versions of iPad Pro and you have to know it's not like with smartphones there is iPhone 8 and there is iPhone 9 and there is iPhone X and there is iPhone 11 and there is iPhone 11 Pro and so on and so forth guys. But with iPads it is different, they are not numbered. You have to know whether you are buying a new iPad or you are buying an old iPad. And I just decided to create this video exactly because of reason guys that I pretty much lied to all of you. I was showing you and unboxing in previous video this iPad and I was showing you and do, talking about specs of the latest iPad and in this video I'm going to show you what the difference is between this iPad which I got myself which is oldest version and now I know it guys because after that video I did my research and I understood that this is first generation iPad Pro and this is not the same iPad Pro which I was talking about and which you are seeing right now on the screen. This iPad Pro as you see there is a pencil, that pencil is magnetic and it clips to the this iPad Pro. There are a couple of differences which I will tell you what are the differences between old iPad Pro and between this newest iPad Pro which you are seeing on the screen. And yes guys you might ask now uh, TechWolf then or Martin, my name is Martin guys by the way if you don't know my name you can check out my name on my site if you want there is all information and I slowly I'm adding more and more information to that website as always guys the link to that website will be in first comment under this video so then which iPad Pro I am going to give away whether I'm going to give away this one which I was showing you and which I got myself and which I was unboxing in the previous video or I'm going to give away the iPad Pro which is with the latest specs so guys I will tell you this a little bit later in this video but now let's talk about the differences what are the differences between this first generation iPad Pro and the latest iPad Pro and firstly we will go to the chip of these two iPad Pro so this old one has a 10 chip uh, as you can see here in specs where compare iPad models and I have did huge research now and now I know the exactly what are the differences so first difference is guys that the latest iPad Pros doesn't come in 10.5 inch there is no such latest iPad Pro which comes in 10.5 inch as this is the iPad Pro which you see right here and which I got and this is in the middle which you see on the screen guys. This is iPad Pro which we got and which I actually got and which I pretty much reviewed but I was talking about specs of these latest iPad Pros and latest iPad Pro comes with smallest size of 11 inch where I got 10.5 inch. Then I was talking about Face ID so this thing doesn't have a Face ID, like I mentioned in my previous video I don't really need Face ID, however the latest iPad Pro has a Face ID where this older or first generation iPad Pro it doesn't have, it has only Touch ID. And talking about chips, the latest iPad Pro has A12X with 5 trillion uh, transactions per second which we got has only A12X. 
10x chip in these guys. So latest Piper Pros you can get up to 1 terabyte memory and which we got first generation you can get only to 512 gigabyte memory. Another huge thing guys and this is exactly where I started my research because I understood that this first generation iPad Pro doesn't have the same pencil. It doesn't have a clip pencil which you can clip uh, magnetically to the iPad itself and it is charging. It has actually pencil like this which you can see also on the screen and to charge this pencil you can't clip it magnetically to the iPad itself even if you get this pencil but you have to use this plug as you can see here in the very end. You have to plug it in into iPad or smartphone or use some external wire to charge this pencil. That is another thing about these iPads. So I guys created last video I was showing you first generation iPad Pro but I was giving away and showing you or talking about specs of the latest iPad Pro. So I found this mistake and I believe that I had to come up with this video and I had to tell you guys that I have made this huge mistake and I, I am very sorry because I didn't do my research before I was creating that video. So I will be giving away in that video this latest iPad Pro and that will be 11 inch that will be bigger than this 10.5 inch because I was talking about this iPad Pro and I was mentioning specs of this latest iPad Pro. However, I got myself the first generation or old iPad Pro but I'm okay with this I already had a look in this iPad Pro and it looks quite okay and for me it is more than enough and I don't really require Face ID, I don't require pencil because I'm not really drawing anything, I'm using it mostly for video watching. So yes guys, this is what I wanted to tell you in this video and like I mentioned guys I'm very sorry that I was showing you this iPad Pro and some people already mentioned this to me in comments under that video because like I mentioned in that video guys I don't have experience and this is my first iPad which I ever got and I was not really able to tell the difference between two of them. So I hope, hope that you found this video useful and if you did leave a like, share this video, subscribe to my channel if you are new and see you in the next one.